Hey guys, it's Gina Poldnip, aka Little Ruski. Thank you so much for clicking on my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. On this channel, I post flexibility and workout content every Tuesday, and then on Fridays, I post whatever my heart desires and whatever I feel like it. So go check that out and go make sure and subscribe to my channel if you're interested and like this video if you enjoyed it. This video is definitely gonna be more intermediate, advanced. I just started dancing again, so it's definitely geared towards all my dancers out there or anyone who is kind of more intermediate or advanced in stretching. So this is for you guys. And this is a stretching routine that I've done millions of times as a gymnastics coach. So we're gonna start with our legs, shoulder width apart, heels a little bit inside, hands on hips, and we're gonna do circles. One, two, 10 times. My arms are so sore. I had a pole dancing class yesterday and they literally feel like they're gonna fall off. Okay, other way. Make sure you're doing full circles with your head. Or I guess with your neck. Nice. From here, legs together. Make sure your heels are together, you're engaging your muscles, hands are up. We're gonna go on to our releve and we're gonna try to hold balance for eight seconds. Squeeze all your muscles so that your heels could be together. Nice, one leg up. Jump, switch. Good job. From here, hands are on hips again. We're stretching our feet. One point, heel inside. And circle. really hot <laughs> other way as long as it's not windy I don't care so that's pretty chill other leg switch nice from here hands are on the side you can put your legs a little more apart and we're going to the side forward side up okay and then switch forward, side, up. Cool. You really wanna make sure you're engaging all your muscles, including your arms. Oh my God, this literally hurts so bad right now. I can barely do this. Nice, and hold. Make sure you're completely to the side. Forward. And grab this leg, nose to knee. And bend your opposite leg, one. Up. Two. Up. Three, up, four, forward, side, and switch, hold. Forward, make sure you're engaging your back. And down to your leg, nose to knee. And bend that leg, one. Nice. 
Nice, from here we're just going forward and we're gonna swing our arms from one side to the other. We are cracking our back. Nice, straight back and up from here, legs are together. We are going to go into our waves. We're gonna start with our back. Really make sure you're doing this wave motion. And same thing with arms forward. Nice, from here we're gonna go waves to the side. Make sure heels are inside. From here, again, legs are a little bit apart, hands are on hips, heels are a little bit inside, and we're doing circles with our hips. Switch. <laughs> Make sure to hold your balance. Nice. From here, we're going forward and arch. Okay. Make sure when you're arching back, you're pushing your hips forward, okay? And hold forward. And one. Up. And now hold arch for eight seconds. Push your hips forward. Up. Nice, from here legs together. We are bending ourselves forward, try to touch the floor if you can. If you can't touch the floor, bend your knees until you touch the floor and then straighten your legs. From here you can bend your knees all the way and straight. Nice. From here, we're going onto our knees. We're just going into our cat dog. So make sure you're really arching back and your goal is to try to touch your head to your booty. And from here, you want to make like a question mark shape and really round out your back as much as possible. And make sure you're pointing your toes behind you and your heels are together. Okay, circle. Okay. 
other way. Nice, from here bring your hands a little closer to yourself. We are going to stretch out our wrists, so bring your shoulders to your fingertips. Now switch your hand position and same thing, your shoulders are going to your fingertips, so backwards though now. From here you are flipping your hands. And we're stretching wrists one more time. Nice, from here we're going into our cap forward. You can bring your legs a little bit apart. Chest up and arch. Nice, from here you can bring your head forward and up. And down. And from here we're going into our waves again, head is last and head is last again at the top. When you're doing this exercise, you wanna bring your body up with your back compared to using your arms, okay? So I'm not using my arms to push myself, but I'm really trying to use my body and my arms are just there for support, okay? Oh my God, my arms hurt so bad. You know when you tie your sweats and then you lay on your stomach and it hurts? Mm, that's where I'm at right now. Oh, oh, so much better, okay. Nice, from here arch one more time. If you want, you can bend your knees. And down. From here, legs together, booty up. And we're going into our child's pose. Cool. From here, we are onto our booty. We're going into our bridge. I don't think I've ever done this in a class, but since we are doing an intermediate advanced class, I think this is the perfect exercise. So, oh, we are on our back. Our legs are bent. Oh, the sun is in my eye. You wanna make sure you're on the ball of your foot. You're kind of bouncing on your heels. Your hands, you're bringing to your ears, by your ears. And we're gonna start off by bringing our booty up. And from here, we're using the strength of our arms to go up. Oh, nice. And you can just rock yourself back and forth. If you want, you can go onto your elbows. Whatever feels comfortable for you. And 
go back down. Oh, good job. You can bring your hips up. I can't even do it. I'm so sore, guys. Oh my goodness. This is why you need to stretch before everything you do. So make sure you stretch and take my classes. <coughs> Damn, I'm dying. We are going to do bridge one more time. If you can do it from standing, do it from standing. If not, you can just go again from the floor. I'm just gonna go from sitting. I'm not gonna show off. Ooh. Okay, nice. Good job guys. From here, we are opening our legs to the side, making sure your big toe isn't touching the floor. You want your pinky toe to touch the floor. We're gonna hold to one side. Up, other side. And forward. Make sure to start from your lower stomach so that you're not slouching, and then bend yourself forward. Nice. All right, well, you could probably tell that I'm in a lot of pain, so I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know if you guys want some more intermediate slash advanced stretching classes, or if you want some more like dancey stretching classes, I would love to do that for you guys. It's like so hot, I can't. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are interested in more flexibility and workout content, or if you just wanna see me on Fridays as well because you love me so much. My name is Gina Polnev, AKA Lil Ruski. Thank you so much, I love you guys, have a good one, and Lil Ruski is out. Bye guys, love you. Oh.